Pope Francis asked Ukraine to respect places of worship that are in their territory but fall under the Moscow Patriarchate, such as the Orthodox Lavra Monastery. I think of the Orthodox de la Laura de Kiev. Chiedo alle parti in guerra di rispettare i luoghi religiosi, le suore consacrate, le persone consacrate alla preghiera, siano di qualsiasi confessione, sono sostegno del popolo di Dio. However, the Pope had made a mistake because monks live in the Lavrov Monastery. Nevertheless, his messages in response to Patriarch Kirill's call for help a few days ago. He asked international authorities to be aware of the events in Ukraine, where authorities want to evict the historic monastery. Minutes before Pope Francis responded to this appeal, he had been continuing his cycle of catechesis on evangelization. He explained why all Christians are called to evangelize and that they do not have a greater dignity than others. Chi ha più dignità nella Chiesa? Il Vescovo, il Sacerdote? No, no, no. Tutti siamo cristiani al servizio degli altri. This was his first public appearance since the 10th anniversary of his papal election. He took the opportunity to express his gratitude for the outpouring of appreciation and affection that came from his country. Quiero agradecer de una manera especial a todas las personas pertenecientes a los partidos políticos y referentes sociales de mi país que se han unido para firmar una carta de saludo con motivo del décimo año del pontificado. Gracias por este gesto y se me ocurre decirles así como se han unido para firmar esta carta, qué lindo que se unen, que se unan para hablar, para discutir y llevar la patria adelante. There was a festive atmosphere at the end of the audience, and many well-known songs were played. For example, Beethoven's Ode to Joy and the soundtrack of the film, The Mission.